I'm a paraplegic and I know why. Why, man? Yeah, because I got high. Because I got high. Because I got high. Hello, everybody. I think you all know who I am, so I do not in need an introduction. So, greetings and welcome to my video supplement on how drugs affect your life and your body. And today I'm going to talk about a very specific drug called morphine. Morphine is a highly potent opiate analytic drug and is the principal active agent in opium and is considered to be the prototypical opioid. Morphine was in 1803 the first alkaloid isolated from a plant source, which is opium. Morphine acts directly on the central nervous system to relieve pain. Although it's just maybe it might just be a painkiller, but it does have its downsides. Morphine has a high potential for addiction, tolerance, and both physical and psychological dependence develop rapidly. At the times of the Civil War, it was used for pain relief as a cure for opium and alcohol addiction. Later it was found out that morphine was even more addictive than either alcohol or opium combined, and its extensive use during the American Civil War allegedly resulted in over 400,000 sufferers from the soldier's disease of morphine addiction. At least three methods of total synthesis of morphine from strontium materials such as coal, tar, and petroleum distillates have been patented. Still, the vast majority of morphine has derived from the opium poppy by either the traditional method of gathering latex from the scored unripe pods of the poppy or processes using poppy straw. The pro the morphine is a rapid acting narcotic and it is often has a higher incidence of euphoria, dysphoria, respiratory depression, sedation, prurious tolerance, and physical and psychological dependence. Another thing that happens when you use morphine is addiction. Morphine is a potentially highly addictive substance, as it can cause psychological dependence and physical dependence as well as tolerance, with an addiction potential identical to that of heroin. What happens when morphine gets taken away from you? Here are the withdrawal symptoms. The withdrawal symptoms associated with morphine addiction are usually experienced shortly before the time of each scheduled dose, sometimes within as early as a few hours, like 6 to 12 hours, after the last administration. Early symptoms include watery eyes, insomnia, diarrhea, runny nose, yawning, dysphoria, sweating, and in some cases, a strong drug craving. Severe headaches, restlessness, irritability, loss of appetite, body aches, severe abdominal pain, nausea and vomiting, tremors, and even stronger and more intense drug cravings appear as the syndrome pro progresses. Severe depression and vomiting are very common. So if you have a morphine addiction, and you don't know how to stop, what can you do to solve this problem? Well, there are many things. Your family can help you. Your friends can help you. You can go to rehab and you can get all fixed. Besides, it's, it's not that hard to, to stop using drugs. I mean, as long as you know what's wrong and you really, really want to stop, you should really go to rehab because you don't just hurt your own body when you do drugs and when you get addicted to it. It hurts your family because you get anxiety, you get depression, and your family gets worried for you, and you just send them off. So it hurts your family, and they're willing to help you at any cost. After rehab, you are cured, and from that point on, you already know, no more drugs. Why? Because drugs are bad, and that's something we should all learn. So thank you for listening to our video supplement on morphine and how can it affect our lives. Thank you very much and have a happy day.